Hey guys, Joel, importtoss.com. We are getting ready to go uh, to the machine shop. We got everything loaded up here and uh, stick around. We'll tell you uh, what we're thinking about doing, what we hear from the shop and what we get back from the shop. Okay, getting ready to head to the machine shop. We have the block all ready to go. Took all the external bolts and anything off of it. We have the oil pan. Uh, we're gonna see if they can just kind of clean that up, do a little hot tank on it. We have the uh, bottom half of the uh, block where uh, the crank is gonna be wedged in there. We have the crank sitting in there. I did put a little note on uh, one of these, whichever, oh, uh, right there. Number two, just so I can tell them, uh, take a look at that. We have the head sitting in there and we're gonna take the cam gears just to see if they uh, wanna look at them, uh, maybe clean them up and see if they uh, think there's anything going on there. Um, they said they do want some pistons to uh, see. So I have bagged one through five with their uh, pistons, the connecting rods, the bearings, you know, just anything they may need on there. So we don't have much laying around over here. And we are also going to take them in case they need it. The uh, K1 forged um, connecting rods, I-beams, and the uh, Wisco, Wisco uh, forged uh, pistons, just so they know what we're working with. The one thing I did not put in here is the Elevate open deck sleeve. So I will run up the stairs, beep, grab them, bring them back set them right there with the uh, instructions from Elevate on how to do the machining and uh, hopefully uh, get all this dropped off. They initially said maybe about a week, but we'll see what they say uh, when we pick everything up and let you know what the, uh, the order is and what they're gonna be doing. Okay, so we went down the mountain today, picked up uh, everything that was uh, jet washed. Head's still down there. They're uh, Taking a look, inspecting it, gonna be cleaning it up, but they wanted to get this back to us so that we could get this off for sleeving. Uh, they uh, did a pretty deep inspection. They didn't see any issues there. Um, so we got the main block with the cylinder uh, sleeves in there. And the crank has been cleaned up. And uh, the other top bread, or maybe that's the bottom bread of the um, block, oil pan. And uh, we got back our rods and our pistons. They were using those just to kind of check on stuff. And uh, next, we got a box of stuff there, which includes five of these from Elevate LA Sleeves. Going to uh, get those off. And those are going to get uh, put into there. And that way we can uh, crank the boost up to uh, 392 PSI, you know, I don't know. Um, one thing to note is that engine shop, Wayne said uh, they didn't have the tool or the uh, machinery to uh, do the uh, crank just because uh, it has, uh, you know, all these extra splines down here. They said they didn't want to accidentally or cut into those. So they recommended a marine uh, crankshaft out in Santa Ana, California, which is a couple blocks away from uh, Q&E Machining, who will be doing the uh, sleeve installation. So what we got to do is get all of this uh, package back up. I figured, yeah, let, let me at least get it back here. And then from here, we'll... Uh, take a trip out to Orange County and see. Uh, I know for the sleeving, they're probably gonna want uh, the uh, crankshaft, so I don't know if they can start on this. They said that's three to four weeks for sleeving. And then uh, Marine Crankshaft said maybe three weeks backlog to get to the crank. I'd like to see if I can get all of this stuff kind of going at the same time rather than waiting three weeks for one and then dropping it in another three weeks for another. And then once it's done, we're gonna take it back to Wayne's, the whole, everything on the table. And then at that point, they'll do all the balancing um, on the actual crankshaft uh, to make sure that that's all dialed in with everything there. 
Um, and so, uh, you know, I got plenty of time. This T5 engine rebuild is brought to you in part by IPDUSA.com. IPD is Import Sauce's go-to for anything we need maintenance or repair on any of our Volvos. One reason we like them, the My Garage feature, where you can add all your Volvos and then quickly shop for particular parts for that vehicle. When you click on anything, it will give you an alert letting you know that this does fit. If there are fitment issues, you will get an alert when adding to cart, and this will let you know what exactly to check out before. This will ensure that you are getting exactly the right part for your Volvo. Second thing we love, kit builders. Here, for popular items, you can get the option to build a kit by adding on additional components that may be related. In many cases, you'll have options for genuine Volvo, or for a more budget-friendly shopping cart, you can add aftermarket. So, when you're going through, you can either select or not select certain components and make sure that you're getting exactly what you need. Lastly, customer service. Their customer service is great. They are U.S.-based here on the West Coast. Uh, anytime we call the phone number, a real live Volvo owner and daily driver answers the phone and works with you on any product questions or help with your shopping cart. If you're getting your parts anywhere else, go ahead and check out IPDUSA.com. Okay, everybody, we just dropped off our block for sleeping here at Q&E Machine Shop. Uh, they said it's not going to be any issue. We did see that inside they had an LA Sleeves banner, and they said that they do these all the time. Uh, and LA Sleeves is actually just down the road. It's just they were, you know, months and months and months backed out. So uh, we got this on recommendation of uh, somebody else uh, in the community, and uh, they said about four weeks. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, report back when we are back here picking everything up. Okay, guys, we have just dropped off the crank at Marine Crankshaft. They have inspected it and I have provided them the Vita uh, printout with all the specs for the journals and measurements. And uh, they say that there isn't going to be any issue. They're going to be able to build back up uh, where cylinder two and that bearing was uh, tearing in. So uh, they said about three, four weeks or so and they'll give us a ring. And uh, so we'll report back uh, when we're ready to pick it up. So on this very special day to go pick up our block and our crankshaft, uh, we get the pleasure of driving on the 91 freeway. We are going uh, exactly uh, zero miles per hour sitting here. And uh, so if you're ever in uh, Southern California, be sure to hit the 91 freeway because it doesn't matter what time it is, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, for miles and miles and miles, all we can see is a, uh, a long trip home. Okay, happy day. Picking up the sleeved block. That beauty. So now we are off to Marine Crankshaft to pick up the repaired crank. So here we are at Marine Crankshaft, Santa Ana, but we're just a couple blocks from Newport Beach. And uh, I was just talking to John here and he said, yeah, so what they did is uh, on uh, number two, they went ahead and just uh, grinded it down got all of the uh, imperfections, deformities out of there. And then it went to a welding, they built the material back up. And then it uh, then was ground back down and polished into spec and then sent out uh, to have a hardening process done on it so that it's actually probably stronger than um, how it originally came from the factory. So at least that's what they said. But now you can see we have the uh, crankshaft ready to go. We have the uh, block sleeve ready to go. Uh, again, we're gonna go back home. We are going to get the uh, measurements for the bearings uh, and we'll have a full video on that. And then uh, we will get this back to Wayne's engine and they're gonna complete the whole balance on everything. Okay, so uh, now that we're back home, uh, away from busy streets, we will take a look. Uh, we get a close look now before we take it off to 
Wayne's Engine Rebuilders. Measured everything. All the uh, where the connecting rods go one, two, three, four, five, and then where it sits in the block between the bed plate and all the measurements on there are consistent. We'll talk more about that on the bearing video. That'll be going up soon. So I uh, just talked to Wayne's. They said actually for the five cylinder straight, they do not need the bearings to uh, get the balance. And they will also uh, help confirm the measurements for the bearings off of uh, what we have here. This T5 engine rebuild is brought to you in part by elevatecars.com. If you own a Volvo, you've probably heard the name Elevate, but if you've never been to the website, you should definitely check it out. ElevateCars.com has plenty of performance and styling parts for your Volvo. Simply visit the website, find your particular model, and from there, you can dial into subcategories. One particular part that we're really excited to add from their catalog on this rebuild is the open deck sleeves. But even if you're just getting started, you can definitely find something within your budget to get your Volvo stepped up to the next level. Go ahead and check them out, elevatecars.com. We have just landed at Wayne's. We are here for the engine balance. So what we have for them today is going to be our K1 forged I-beam rods. Uh, elevate open deck sleeved block with the bed pan. Uh, rebuilt crankshaft from Marine uh, Crankshaft. Uh, all of the uh, bolts. Uh, we're using new ARP, but they need these to kind of seat everything on here. And back there in the bottom is the uh, forged uh, pistons. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop this off and uh, see what happens. Okay, so all the parts are dropped off and I uh, forgot that the head was here. They went ahead and uh, took it apart, disassembled it, cleaned it, and uh, checked all the tolerances on uh, everything. Everything was solid. Uh, it just needed a, uh, a good cleaning. So we're gonna get this back up home and we're gonna do some fun stuff with this uh, that you'll see while we're waiting for the um, rest of the stuff. We have made it to the last segment of the machining video. So uh, we went down and we picked everything up today and I'll just uh, recap what we got and uh, what's next. So uh, they didn't need the clutch lastly, but they did call uh, last week and they wanted the flywheel, a harmonic balancer, to add that on to do the full balance. So when we picked it up, we were able to pick up all of our parts. They kind of did a assembly on everything and uh, everything's dialed in, everything is spot on. So what do we have back here? Uh, we have our, I've seen these a couple times now, we have our K1 uh, forged. Oh, flip it around. Connecting rods, I-beam, which are rated for about two or 300 horsepower more than the H-beams. So that's cool. And we have our uh, Y-scope pistons. Where am I out of this dang box? I'm gonna slash on my finger. I can't really grip much. Mm. Okay, we've seen these a couple times too, but let's just take a look because next time you see these, it'll be in the engine build up video. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Standard board, 83 mm's, right? 
So that's some good stuff there. And we have the block. And those are the LA sleeve Elevate uh, spec. Uh, open deck sleeves pressed in by q and in machine. Uh, bed plate down there. Uh, it's, it's loosely attached. Um, let's take a look. But yeah, I mean, that looks good, right? And we have uh, our crank back. We saw this earlier. Uh, all dialed in by Marine Crankshaft out in Santa Ana, California. Beautiful. Uh, spec uh, P2R single mass flywheel. That's not new. Eh, it is pretty new. Uh, not that many miles on it since uh, the M66 swap there. Uh, we're going to see these coming up pretty soon in our bearing video. And uh, I think we've seen the head. That's been back for a while. We did a video on uh, the full custom paint on this. Uh, we still have to disassemble uh, the crank pulleys because these are getting a custom paint job on them. And the head getting a custom paint job. The whole block getting a custom paint job. So um, they did a soda blast on here but we're still gonna go through and hit it with a um, wire brush and the Dremel to, you know, just really clean it up. They had mentioned that, um, you know, they couldn't get it as, as ready as they thought I would want it, but that's no big deal. Um, so that's kind of what's coming next is before um, we can get it over to assembly, obviously we need one. This thing to be painted it doesn't have to be painted but it would be easier if it is that way when we assemble it it is uh you know essentially almost ready to go uh so um you know cleaning up all of that cleaning up the head and the oil pan has already been uh processed and painted so uh getting that ready and then uh ordering the bearings so that's the biggest thing um and when we talk about the bearings in that video segment that is coming up we have the printout from uh, Vita. This is a good one to have. Uh, we do have this linked up in the master uh, article as well, but this is just the general information for uh, your engine, right? So it's gonna have all the specs. It's gonna have the bearing chart on how to know based on the number that we saw on the block and the crank. It's gonna have all the specs. So everywhere I've been going with this engine, um, I have been giving a copy of this to whoever's working on the engine so that they can see all the specific specs, diameters, tolerances for everything that is internal on the engine. I mean, we have the valve seats, the tappets, the camshaft, the, the head, the, the crankshaft, the big ends, the mains, uh, the connecting rods, uh, all the pressure specs, the fuel line specs, the thermostat specs, like pretty much everything. So everyone that's worked on this has had that. Um, and that, that's really a, a good thing to have. It is engine specific. We did also pull the 2.4 uh, version and the specs were actually identical, but um, you're gonna wanna make sure you get the one that is specifically your engine code um, so that you know exactly what you're looking at. So uh, that wraps up Machine Shop. Uh, again, it took a lot longer than what we uh, anticipated, right? I mean, uh, we're like maybe four months in from when we started dropping all this stuff off until now that we have it in our hands. And we have to move on to paint at this uh, point, which is gonna add some time. We still have the engine bay uh, getting dressed up. That's its own video segment that you may see uh, teasers of on the uh, YouTube posts. Uh, we still have the wiring master harness to do, uh, just, just kind of a lot, but you know, everything is back in our possession and, and moving along. So 